Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shravan Kumar, I am your pediatric faculty. I am going to teach you the entire pediatrics which is going to help you to crack all the PG medical entrance examinations like NEET, PG, AIMS, PGI and JIPMER. And not only that, it is going to help all the foreign medical graduate students which is going to help you to crack foreign medical graduate entrance examination also. Now, so before going into the topic, I would like to start with uh, one thing. Uh, regarding the topics, I am going to start with the neonatology first because neonatology is one of the most important topic that you have to cover when you are preparing the pediatrics because the examiner wants to concentrate the maximum questions from the neonatology only. Okay, So in the neonatology, I am going to start with the basics which is we called as a terminology. First you need to understand the basic terminology in the neonatology to understand the concepts or the conditions which is going to see in a neonat babies. Now, so the another question is why do you need to understand the terminology of the neonatal babies because some neonatal diseases or some neonatal clinical conditions they are exclusively pertaining to that uh, age of the baby or weight of the baby or gestational week of the baby for example few conditions are uh, focused or will be concentrated in preterm babies because like uh, necrotizing enterocolitis is usually most, most commonly seen in preterm babies, right? If the examiners give you about the post-term baby or post-dated or large for gestational age babies, that means the examiner is concentrating on the topic which is related to the infant of diabetic mother, okay? So this is how this terminology is going to help you to rule out the uh, wrong options and to choose the best option in the clinical based questions, okay? Now, so let's go into the topics. The first thing is, when do you call a neonat baby? This is the first question. Usually, neonat babies are called after the birth, first 28 days of life. Okay. The first 28 days of a life baby is called as a neonat. So, in this also, it is again divided into two things. The first one is early neonatal period. When do you call early neonatal period? You have to call after the birth, the first seven days of life of a baby is called as early neonatal period. Now, the next thing is late neonatal period. After the birth, the first seven days, you are calling it as an early neonatal period from the day 8 to 28 days of life of a baby should be called as a late neonatal period period okay so these are the basic first neonatal and early neonatal period and late neonatal period here the another thing which i have mentioned here which is a perinatal period when do you call it is a perinatal period according to the world health organization the specific definition has been given here which is from the 22nd weeks of gestation to 7 days of life okay 22nd week of gestation to seven days of life is called as a perinatal period but here i would like to ask you one question perinatal mortality rate is calculated from this is another mcq which which can be asked i would like to write on the top of the screen i am writing as a pmr which is uh, let me write it here pmr which is perinatal mortality rate so what is Perinatal mortality rate is calculated from this is another MCQ. If the examiner asks this, do not make mistake. It is not calculated from the 22nd week of gestation, but it is calculated from the 28 weeks of gestation. Okay. So this is about perinatal period. Now, let me go to the next screen. Here I have written classification of the neonat. This newborn baby is classified into few other things what are they based on the gestational age and based on the birth weight these are the two important components that you have to understand when it comes to the classification of the newborn baby why they have classified this uh, newborn baby into multiple classification because if the baby usually babies has to burn after 37 weeks of gestation what happens if the baby uh, born before 37 weeks of gestation and how many weeks before the target gestation if the baby bonds what will happen there are specific conditions which will be focused on preterm babies like i have already told you there are specific conditions usually uh, seen in low birth weight babies as well as extreme low birth weight babies so that's why 
the gestational age of a baby and also birth weight of a baby is very important to understand the clinical scenario or to assess the baby or if you want to treat a baby these are the basic things that you have to understand now so let me tell you according to the gestational age the neonatal classification the first one is a term baby when do you call a term baby if the baby borns after 37 weeks of gestation to 37 weeks of gestation to 42 weeks of gestation remember one thing here 37 completed weeks remember that okay let me write it again here 37 completed weeks of gestation to 42 weeks of gestation what happens if the baby born before 37 weeks of gestation you call it as a preterm baby so when do you call a preterm baby if the baby born before 37 weeks of gestation okay now the next thing is post term baby if the baby born after 42 weeks of gestation you call it as post term babies okay so this is the classification of a neonat based on the or according to the gestational age now so let me go to the another classification which is 